So I'm Ronnie Varghese and I'm a grad student um, in the certificate program in women's studies and um, I'm a doctoral student or doctoral candidate in social justice ed here at UMass. Um, my name is Stefana Soitos and I am a senior here at UMass and I'm double majoring in women, gender, sexuality studies and anthropology. First of all, how did you get from high school to here and be involved in this uh, women's studies and or the women's whatever okay you know where I'm coming from well I think I think I mean high school to here is a, is, is a long path but I mean I think for me how I got to women's studies here at UMass um, is actually through my connection with the professor here her name is Alex Deschamps and so when I was actually working my master's degree in social work um, here at Smith College she was a faculty there and while I didn't have her as a professor um, I had she had a reputation that preceded her and in my interactions with her so she when I did my master's thesis she worked as the discussant and she talked about my work and so she, she, I, I was really struck by her and so when I came here to do my doctorate I connected with her and she really encouraged me to apply to the program and she really shared the ways in which um, the graduate certificate program would really um, shape my experiences and help me be um, a stronger student and a stronger researcher and a stronger teacher. And you, Ronnie. Yeah, and... Um, Stefania, I yeah, it's fine. Um, so when I came to UMass, I was a Spanish major, so um, I did a big transition between switching from Spanish to women, gender, sexuality studies, and I think um, I was really craving like the element of critical thinking and, and just thinking differently in a lot of ways and like memorizing um, that I was like doing a lot of in my Spanish classes. So um, that really kind of like drew me to the department and also I think that my mom had a big part in my interest in, in feminism and understanding women and understanding sexuality. Um, and so that also kind of like led me to the department I think, to double majoring. So how has getting into the department changed you personally? Um, I think that being in women's studies classes um, has really forced me to speak up a lot and to, um, to voice my thoughts and to speak my mind and um, continue with like leadership positions or just be involved with more things on campus um, than, I, than I was when I was um, a freshman and a sophomore. I became a major when I was in my sophomore year. Um, so that has really like... Um, changed for me and also kind of led me, I'm interested in reproductive rights too, and I think that that, I had an internship this past summer that um, was really affected by the classes that I took, the introductory classes I took in the department. And what about you, Ronnie? You know, I just, honestly, I can't imagine my life without women's studies. Like, I feel like, um, as a therapist, because I, because I took these classes in women's studies, um, I'm, the ways in which I interact with my clients is totally changed. I feel like I'm a better teacher, so I'm a, a TA through Women's Studies, and for the last several years, I've um, TA the intro course, and so um, I feel like I'm a better teacher. So the ways in which I connect to my students, um, I think the two things that Women's Studies has taught me is sort of, or brought me is sort of this intersectional analysis and this multi-level analysis. And I honestly, I mean, I keep saying this, but I just can't imagine having left graduate school without learning these things, wrestling with feminist theory. And at every chance I get, when I meet other graduate students, I tell them, if there's something you're gonna do, you're gonna do get your graduate certificate in women's studies. Take at least, if you don't do the certificate, at least take a class because you'll be, um, you'll be a, a broader, more um, well-versed well-versed richer um, person because of it and particularly the, the the women in there I feel like the faculty are phenomenal mm -hmm. the opportunity I've gotten the opportunity to work with all these different faculty and they kick ass I'm really you know do. I am like some of them I'm just like shoot touching them you know they are the most engaged professors that I've had at the university and the professors that care the most about their students too they like really care about 
life outside of just like what's going on, like what we're reading or something. They care about your personal life. That's been my experience too. Mm -hmm. Looking down at the future, it seems like from a very poor start here on campus when they started, very meager, this is something that's going to be carrying on through generations, it seems, mm -hmm. in one way, shape, or form. You're here today speaking to a meeting the people that will be written about in history books, basically that they started this program. What kind of legacy does that leave on you? And do you, do you feel empowered to carry this on? But basically, seeing once again, these people here, Arlene or Vake here, 35 years, 37 years, where they started the program. What does that mean to you folks? It's hmm. a full question to think about it. You want to take it? Well, I just, I'm excited that I'm here, that I got to, to um, celebrate these 35 years. I'm glad that I've had a particular role, um, you know, in helping, just even volunteering today, um, getting to see this panel of phenomenal women speak about the future of women's studies. Um, I think it's relevant. I was just telling somebody that I had an interview the other day at a counseling center, and one of the questions they asked me was, how does feminist theory impact your clinical work? And I watched, it was an interview with eight to 10 people, and I watched eight people or six people before me say, um, I've never taken a feminist theory class. <laughs> and I, when it came to me, I was like, whoop. You know, and I, I probably said too much, but I, it, you know, I, see, I feel like it's relevant in this, in this world. And I don't have children yet, but I feel like you know, the things I've learned through women's studies, really the personal and, and sort of like this theoretical, I want to pass on to my children. I want to raise, I want to give my children, both men and women, different opportunities and ways of being who they are, like pushing the boundaries of, of gender. And if I think about the legacy for this program, I hope they get a master's or a doctoral program. And I hope they have a double major because I think it'd be great, like I'm in a doctoral program in social justice. I would love to do a dual doctorate, get training, full training in both programs. Yeah. Um, I felt really honored to be a part of this, the celebration today, and to be asked to, to volunteer to interview people. Um, it really, like, placed women's studies in the history of how it's, the program has evolved, and that was really great to see. Um, I kind of don't want to graduate because I want to keep taking women's studies courses. That's where I am at right now, and I think that being here and just being around and, and hearing all the panelists speak um, and then hearing people's stories here really just showed me how of a such a fabulous program this is and um, I hope that I can find similar programs or similar um, spaces in the future um, that has given so much to me right now so mm -hmm. could you just look into the camera and wish them happy birthday happy, happy birthday, birthday.